Hello and welcome to another exciting day. It is the launch of the new Fujifilm Instax Mini Link 2. And this device, this printer, uses Instax Mini Film. And there are so many exciting features which I'm gonna try to hit on as we work through this. But first, we're just gonna do a quick box opening. Check out what's inside. And in front of you, you can see the popular Mini Evo. This is one of the hot Instax cameras. This is our digital hybrid analog unit. So you can shoot photos with it. You can manipulate with the uh, different film set settings, the different lens settings, up to a hundred options. And then you can decide whether you want to print. So it has the optional printer built in, as well as of course a digital camera. And one thing that's really cool is it prints when you do that. And it of, co of course has a digital storage option on a mini SD. So let's move that out of the way. Then we also have the super hot Instax Mini 40, which is our analog camera. Just pop it on, take a pic, out it pops up the top. This is the $99 version, and not included in the bunch here just for space, of course, is the wildly successful Instax Mini 11. And then there's also other things like the Wide 300 and other uh, Fujifilm Instax items. But let's get right to it. Behind the new Mini Link 2, we have the popular Link Wide, which prints the wide film option. Then we have the Mini Link version 1, which of course uses the same Link uh, Mini Link film here, the Instax Mini film. And then we have the Instax Share Printer SP3, which is our square print option. So these are the three formats that Fujifilm has. Now let's see what's in the box. You can see here there's a new option. When you hold the button, you can draw onto the print from the app. Pretty in interesting. And that's called the Instax Air. So let's talk about air prints later. But first, in the box is going to be something probably pretty straightforward. It's going to be the unit and then a USB charger. But let's just take a look. Oh, look at that. We got a USB cable right there. And packed inside, we've got the beautiful new Instax Mini Link 2. Ah, uh, there it is. So I'm gonna charge this up. We're gonna talk about it and see what's happening. Basically though, the operations are that you have the open, uh, open the back for the film there. You can see that. This is where you would pop the cartridge in. You have the charging port right here. And then you have the draw light right there. So you would hold the function button, which is right up here. And then this would illuminate and you would communicate with your phone and draw your picture or your words or whatever you like onto the print to share got your on off and function switch here and the printer also has activations whereas you if you tilt it you can do different controls for printing so instax mini link 2 right here and don't forget just to share so there's some of the new film macaron contact sheet for instance the new stone gray and released with the printer is the really nice and hot Instax spray art film, which has some nice patterns on it, as you can see here, and we'll give that a whirl. So just wanted you to have some updates, and of course, always the Instax mini twin film, sold in the two pack here, white border, that's always a winner. Can't go wrong there at a party or event, and you can see lots of prints, lots of options, lots of, lots of fun with the Instax mini. Let's take a look at some of the functions. Be right back. Welcome back to a continuing demo of the new Instax Mini Link 2. So what I've done is charged up the unit using the USB included, and I've downloaded the Mini Link app to my phone. Now, first things you gotta see, it says device not connected. So it's really easy to do once you pair it. 
you just turn on the Instax link, which gives you a little vibration, and then the Bluetooth will be able to pair to it. You can see right now this Instax unit, which has no film, but is 100% charged up, is ready to go. So, gonna talk real quick about some exciting features. One of the new ones, which is totally amazing and why I've kind of turned the lights down in here, is the new Instax Air. This I love. So you can turn on the Instax Air feature, and I just printed a quick shot back there, but what I want to show you is that using the Instax Mini Link, you hold the function button and the LED light will be used as your artistic sketch. So a couple fun things you can do. Let's put it on the LED light mode right there. See the light pops on. The screen dims so it can see the light. And if I want, I can just play around, throw some bubbles out there. But that's not really what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the menu here and I'm gonna wanna maybe spray paint something fun using my red spray paint can. And I'm gonna try to do this upside down, sideways, but let's see, I'm gonna try to spray a bad looking, but I didn't wanna bump everything, heart. So I don't like the way I did that. I'm gonna remove that, hitting the re rewind button there. I'm gonna go back in, try to do it a little better this time. Come up, go over, go around, go back, down. Okay. So I, signed, I sort of did a heart. You'll cut me some slack. Now, if I wanted to, I could take the picture. Now, I have this printed shot there because, of course, I don't have anybody in this box. So I could take the picture when I'm ready. And now I've got the picture of my friends, in this case, your friends, with the heart around them, ready to go. And I could just pop that right out of the Instax printer. Let's see what else we can do because I'm going to keep moving as quick as I can here. We're going to go out of this mode. If I wanted to, we can also do, look at it, it wants you to have some fun here. So I'm gonna go into the Instax camera mode, touching this button. What's really neat is the, is the app knows where the printer's orientation is. So if I wanted to, I can tilt my, my printer and control the zooming of the phone. How cool is that? bringing that right in if I want a picture and I could just frame that however I want and then again, snap the shot. Let's go. My finger needs a little stuff on it. And from here, I would hit print, but we're gonna look at printing in a moment. So going out of that, we're gonna look at the options. You have, of course, the flash options. You have reverse the picture and we have a lot of different features such as video print you can do a grab from your video you can also do collage prints come on finger let's go there we go we have all these setups for collages so you can do split prints you could do eight up on an image you could do all these designs not going to get to that just now but we're going to move on so simple print would just be what i normally would want to do i would just go into my albums on my phone and i can choose whatever print i want and out it pops and you can see on the uh, floor here of the uh, table we've got the print right here we just did Lots of prints. I'm gonna have to turn the lights up, come back in a moment. But right now, let's get to loading and seeing what we can do once loaded. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna open up a pack of the new Instax Mini Macaron, just for the heck of it. We're gonna pop open the film, load it into the Instax Mini so that we can get shooting. Each of the cartridges includes 10 film images Instax mini film, pop open the back, drop it in. It's easier if you put it in the bottom first, it just pops right in there. The yellow dash matches right up here. Close that. It's going to eject the black cover frame and then the 10 shots of film are right there ready to go. Now, you can see my app already has the Instax connected from our playing with it. 
all I have to do now is choose an image and hit print. So I could maybe do my simple print like we mentioned. I could choose that. I could just print here and uh, choose that. So let's uh, let's go to let's go to this one. Previous image, print history. Make it simple. Choose that. Now I could put in filter types if I wanted to. I can crop. I can put a, a sticker or other items on it if I want to put happy face here let's go happy face let's pick uh, what the heck we'll just do that one move it over that's good I can rotate it I can zoom it I can do whatever I want hit the print button and out it will pop just as easy as that now I'm not doing the super technical review as you can figure out I'm just here to give you a little feel for things let you see how easy it is to use and there you have it Instax print coming right out one down more to go let's get rid of that print a little bit more I'm gonna go to the history here here we got this fun one print that filter let's say black and white now Boom, another one. Out it goes. I like the effect where it pops out the top of the phone, so to speak. Sends it over to the printer. And there it is, like magic. And it's processing now. So we're gonna go back. No, we don't need to save. As you can see, the Instax printer saves the last print on your home screen right here, but you also have a whole print history to go to. We are going to pretty much wrap it up now since there are so many features that other blogs and reviews will cover, but I'm a big fan of this new Instax Air as well as uh, some of the collages. The video print mode is gonna be neat in case you have a video ready. And there are so many prints that I got to get to doing because there's so many fun images on my phone. Here we go. Thanks for checking it out. Have any questions? Let me know in the comments.